So the next part of discussion in this periodic table chapter is that is electron affinity. given by Ea. So, if you take this electron affinity, what do you mean by electron affinity? You take a neutral isolated, take a neutral isolated gaseous atom, when it gains an electron, it forms a uninegative gaseous ion with the, the release of energy, with the release of energy is simply called as electron affinity. So, I repeat the definition is there in the equation itself what we have learnt here. When a neutral isolated gaseous atom accepts an electron, it forms uninegative ion, uninegative gaseous ion and it releases energy is simply called as electron affinity. So, because it is gaining one electron, the neutral gaseous, neutral isolated gaseous atom because it is gaining one electron, we can call this as electron affinity or simply electron affinity 1. Because it is releasing energy, I can say that electron affinity 1 is always exothermic in nature. Take one example, take chlorine chlorine is a gas neutral isolated gaseous atom chlorine it gains one electron it has the electronic arrangement 2 8 7 in the outermost orbit chlorine is having seven valence electrons it gains one electron and uh, it forms uni negative gaseous ion and it releases energy now the electronic arrangement is 2 8 8 so this is stable this is unstable. Whenever a species is stable, it will lose energy, Lo loss of energy results in the stability of the given species. So, stability is attained by loss of energy or release of energy. That is why we can confidently say that electron affinity or electron affinity 1 is always exothermic in nature. But I will say that electron affinity 2, now you take that is uninegative gaseous ion which was which is already stable okay uni negative gaseous ion if i am adding energy on the reactant side it forms of course it gains an electron it gains an electron and it absorbs energy to form uni negative di negative gaseous ion gaseous ion <coughs> this is electron affinity 2. So, I can say that electron affinity 2 is always endothermic. Take one example, uni negative Cl minus ion chloride gaseous ion which is having 2, 8, 8 configuration. It is gaining one electron, it is already stable but you are forcibly adding, you are injecting one more electron to this stable species. So, that is why it will just instead of, instead of releasing energy, instead of releasing energy, it will, instead of releasing energy, it will gain energy or absorb energy and it forms di negative, it forms a di negative gaseous ion with a configuration of 2 8, 8 and uh, 1. That means total number of electrons in Cl minus ion right now, 19 electrons are there which you are converting the given species from stable to unstable state. Because you are converting the stable species to unstable state, we can confidently say that electron affinity 2 is therefore, it is endothermic. So, now we are going to discuss about the periodic trends of electron affinity. So, variation 
variation of electron affinity variation of electron affinity in periods in periods electron affinity increases because electron affinity is always directly proportional to non metallic nature nature of elements non metallic nature of elements so left to right in a period the electron affinity in a left to right in a period electron affinity increases electron affinity increases because electron affinity is directly proportional to non metallic nature of the elements and similarly if you go for groups electron affinity decreases because electron affinity electron affinity is inversely proportional to metallic character note note in a period in period halogens have in a period halogens have high electron affinity in that halogens what are halogens fluorine chlorine bromine bromine and iodine and astatine but here you find that chlorine is having more electron affinity than the remaining halogens you know the reason what is the reason you know electron affinity of chlorine is greater than electron affinity of fluorine it is because of fluorine has smaller atomic size smaller fluorine has smaller atomic size and greater electron repulsions repulsions but whereas if you take chlorine larger atomic size larger atomic size so lesser electron repulsions it is because of this reason we can say that electron affinity of chlorine is greater than electron affinity of electron affinity of chlorine is greater than the electron affinity of fluorine so overall order therefore chlorine has more electron affinity than fluorine has more electron affinity than bromine has more electron affinity than iodine astatine is a radioactive element in this always remember metals have metals have very low electron affinity very low electron affinity example cesium is a metal which has just 0.1 electron affinity approximately this is because metals cannot gain electrons just like how they do in the case of non metals that's the reason metals have very low electron affinity third one is third exception is if you take uh, noble gases noble gases have zero electron affinity because all noble gases neither they can lose electrons nor they can gain electrons electron affinity depends on the gain of electrons noble gases because they are their inability noble gases because of their inability to gain electrons all noble gases they have zero zero electron affinity noble gases do not do not gain electrons noble gases do not gain electrons that is the reason why we can say that the electron affinity is zero in the case of noble gases cut